Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal, and I'm gonna tell you a little story. The ammo is coming back around me, fellas. It's not cheap, but uh, I got to have the boo lots to make of the videos. Anyways, had some business to go into town yesterday. Um, I'm not really a fan of going into town, but if I have to go into town, uh, might as well check and see if we can get some boo lights for the videos, right? So this green bag, this is a bunch of stuff I picked up at Sportsman's Warehouse. And this white bag, I picked this up from a place called Bullseye. It's more of a mom and pop type place. There's only one. It's not a chain or anything. And I'm actually super excited about what I found. I'm not excited about how much I paid for it, but I'm excited about what I found. This stuff's all going to be in videos real soon. So let me take you over to the bench, show you what I picked up and you guys comment down below suggestions for ideas for videos I've already got some ideas or I wouldn't have bought them but let me know what you guys want to see with this stuff in some videos let's take it over to the table and show you what I picked up all right so let's tackle this white bag first let's see what we got here we're gonna want I'm gonna show you that receipt after the fact and it'll make me cry but first what is this stuff? Some SST shotgun slugs. I used to deer hunt with this a lot. Cost me 20 pops a piece. Woo! That's $4 every time you pull the trigger on that. And I got several of those because I got three of those boxes because by the time I sight that sucker in and all that, uh, yeah, we're gonna need more than five probably. But if you're not familiar, this is the SST shotgun slugs. I used to do a whole lot of deer hunting with this. This is for shotguns with rifled barrels. So stay tuned. I have a rifled barrel slug gun. We're going to be doing some videos with this stuff. But there was a uh, 60 beans right there. Woo! Most I've ever paid for that stuff. Then uh, I found some 4570, 300 grain Federals. Gotta love that. What I pay for this? Fifty-five beans. Woo wee! That, uh, that stuff wasn't cheap either. Then I found uh, some more forty-five seventy. Uh, seen this quite a bit, but it's always been uh, way too expensive. It's still expensive, but twenty rounds of three hundred grainers. Uh, forty-five beans. Not cheap either. And then I think I got something else. Yeah. I picked up some of this 45 auto shot shell. I thought that that would be cool for some videos. So you guys comment down below what you want to see for this stuff. But um, let me open up these all real quick and just kind of show you what they're looking at, looking like. A lot of you guys probably never seen these, but these are uh, for deer hunting. I've taken a lot of deer with these. Rifled barrel 12 gauge. How heavy are these? Uh, yeah, 300 grains. So that's a real big pill you're launching out there. Pretty cool. So that's going to be in some videos. Then I said this Federal 4570 is going to be in some videos. I'm going to show you one of these. Standard lead hollow point. Nothing too exciting there, but it'll be exciting for some videos. And this stuff, I've never even opened the box on, so I really don't know what to expect here. I can figure out how to open the box. Oh, daggone. Wow. Uh, that looks like a solid copper bad boy right there. The thing behind these, I've been trying to get these people to send us ammo for years and they always say no. Maybe y'all can message them and say we need some more. But, uh, tumble upon impact. So, you can see it's no hollow point or anything, but it's supposed to tumble and do a bunch of damage. So I don't know. There you go, Fort Scott. So that was the the one stop. But what do we pay for this one? Almost 200 beans for that sec. Woo wee! It is not cheap. Mega neat videos. Woo son. Anyways, let's put that back in the bag and get on to this green bag over here. Oh, 
All right, what's in this green bag? Like I said, this is for Sportsman's Warehouse. Let's just go ahead and dump the whole thing. That'll be faster. All right, so first, what we got first? Uh, this is some more 6.8 Western Acubon Long Range stuff. This stuff is awesome. By now, y'all probably seen this in the videos. This stuff groups very well. Probably gonna hunt with this. And this is another box of that stuff. And then this is a, another box of that stuff. So we got three boxes of that 6.8 Western over there. Then we got another box of 6.8 Western. This is the 175 grain uh, Browning Sierra Tipped Game King Long Range Pro Hunter. So four boxes right there of the 6.8 Western. Gotta have it. And then this one is my uh, most favorite box from this stop. Some 450 Bushmaster. I have not been able to find this stuff in a while. So let me open up a few of these for you guys to take a look at. 450 Bushmaster has been really hard to find um, ever since you know what happened and uh, you know what else happened. Anyways, there's what these look like 250 grain Hornadies. So, comment down below what you want to see with that. These Brownings, if you haven't seen these yet, these are the 175 grainers. Yellow tip there. Super, super cool. I'll show you some nerdy stuff because it's got some cool nerdy stuff. 617 ballistic coefficient on the G1 scale. This is some awesome stuff. And this is some awesome stuff too, speaking of the 6.8. This has an even better BC of 620 on the G1 scale. Almost 3,000 at the muzzle. Let me show you one of these here quick too. One of those Acubon long range tips. That's a bad, bad boy right there. But, yeah. How many boxes did we get this place? Uh, this place would let me actually get five boxes, so I got five boxes. That other place would let me buy whatever I wanted. So that was 200 beans. Where's the receipt on this one? There's our five boxes there. 265 beans. So yesterday's trip cost me what? $462 in ammo. Ah! But appreciate you guys watching big time. Truly, truly appreciate you guys tuning in. We've got a video every single day. Most days we got two videos every single day but these videos aren't cheap i did this video simply because ammo videos get a bunch of views don't ask me why and they're easy videos to film but also to give you guys a sneak peek on the videos that are coming up real soon and also to ask you guys to help me out with video ideas for all that stuff we're also coming up on deer season two so stay tuned for a bunch of hunting videos um bloop, bloop, bloop. We might hunt uh, with two or three of those, actually, um, this coming deer season. So comment down below if you want to see that. But appreciate you guys big time. A lot of people think that I just have people uh, giving me free ammo right and left. And that's simply not the case. But appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to check out all the links below. Follow us everywhere. That really helps us out a bunch. Don't forget to subscribe to my friends at Heavy Metal. We'll see you guys on the next one. Hoo-doo! Shoot and they